Barnegat Bay is uh, unique. It's a beautiful bay to look at. Beyond looking at it, it needs help. These shallow estuaries are particularly susceptible to pollution. Everybody has to get involved. Once they do one thing, everybody's going to start doing it. Barnegat Bay is an estuary located in Ocean County, New Jersey. The bay is about 40 miles long and 4 miles wide. This space of land here, prior to development being put on it, actually moved around quite a bit because these are basically large sand dunes and every storm that would come by would actually change the topography, would change the landscape. But if we were to leave it alone, this piece of land would be constantly changing. Different inlets would be cut in because of uh, the wave action and the way that weather erodes away sand. The reason why the, the Barnegat Bay Peninsula looks the way it does now is because we put things like roads and seawalls in to keep it here. This is an old map of New Jersey, but it shows, it, it reminds you about the 526 miles of shoreline that we have. And then here's the famous Barnegat Inlet and Barnegat Bay, which is the largest body of water in New Jersey. Barnegat Bay is uh, unique. It's an inland estuary, and it's also a lagoonal estuary. And lagoonal estuaries are, uh, are a particularly rare sort of version of estuaries because they're really shallow. And these shallow estuaries are particularly susceptible to pollution because they're highly productive. Uh, light, it makes it all the way from the surface down to the bottom. And so plants can grow that entire area through the water column. You were fed by a river, the Matitacog, another river, the Toms River, or the Wawapuma, and then the Forked River. So we have wonderful freshwater oysters, clams, shrimp, seafood that was greatly delicate. And there were 78 Indian tribes living on the shores of Barnegat Bay. And when we were young, we caught anything that moved and could be sold in Barnegat Bay. I guess I might have been somewhere around 16 years old, and I would get a call in Seaside Park, and uh, would Roger bring a bushel of oysters there? And I was, I'd say to my family, I'll see you in a half hour. And it would take me 20 minutes to dig a full bushel of oysters. The estuary here at Barnegat Bay is uh, very unique because there's only three outlets to the ocean and there's only several large freshwater sources. In the summertime, it can take as much as 74 days for water to move from the northern portion of the bay out to the ocean. So that's really important to this ecosystem because anything that we put in the water remains here for a long period of time. I've been on Barnegat Bay about 60 years. I live right on the shores of Barnegat Bay, 40 feet over it, fortunately. But uh, it's been a wonderful bay in my life and uh, no place I'd rather be. However, Barnegat Bay is shown a marked decline over the years. I came down in 1936 when the railroad was running through and then I came down I spent most of the time in Point Pleasant because this was nothing down here really. But then came the 1950s and the Garden State Parkway and then things just pop blossomed. It turned into almost a, a bedroom community where people could commute back up. In fact there used to be a little pond diagonally across my house where I used to ice skate. And then they filled it up and put houses there. Over the past few decades, there's been a huge amount of development in Ocean County. The local people found the marshes weren't being used anymore. Very much salt hanging was going out and things like that. So they, they bought the marshes rather cheaply and they dug lagoons up there and with the fill they piled it up on top of the marsh and then they built, built these very modest homes which they advertised you could buy for the cost of your daily paper. Arnegat Bay has suffered very heavily from an overpopulation of people and a misuse. There's been very poor environmental protection. There's been almost no enforcement. Uh, these are very, very valuable marshes. They're really the heart of Arnegat Bay there would provide a lot of the nutrients into the bay to make the bay what it was or what it is. So here Barnegat Bay is one body of water, but all of the water that runs into it from other places around here is considered the watershed. So rivers as far away as Jackson, New Jersey are sources of water that come into here. There's a definite need to get into Barnegat Bay with scientists and find out what the problems are, not just one. You want to study the whole thing as a unit. 
and then be able to come up and say, well, this is what we have. Now what are we going to do? Is there anything we can do? Can anything be done about Bardigat Bay?